So I uh, was very happy to have been uh, appointed to that faculty in 1989. And uh, so that means I've been there a while now. Uh, and I was appointed at that time uh, as associate professor of music and then was since promoted to professor of music and director of choral activities. One of uh, the things that's, that's permeated my, my choral work, my teaching, uh, throughout my career has been this idea that I want to have as many people in, who are different in all of the ways that they might be as possible and help those people to be the best that they can be. And I guess in terms of, of philosophy and, and, and those kinds of underpinnings, um, I was brought up, uh, and I'm a native of Jacksonville, Florida, and I was brought up by some wonderful, absolutely amazing parents and teachers uh, in our schools, in our segregated schools, who taught us with what I sometimes describe as missionary zeal. Uh, because even though our world was at that point very segregated, very uh, separated by race, they saw a better and a brighter tomorrow for us, and they wanted us to be prepared for it. And one of the things that was instilled in me, both at home and at school, was to always strive for excellence. And at the same time, uh, I, I was also brought up to understand that excellence could be had by being as inclusive as you could. So I remember Dr. King, which means that I was alive uh, and, and, and aware of his work during the time that he was alive. Um, I will remember with great sadness that evening uh, that I was sitting in the back of a church meeting room where my father was more involved in the meeting and the word came to us through the pastor of our church who was a friend of Dr. King's father, ML King Sr., that he had been shot and I'm like, what? So Dr. King's work, uh, first off, is very relevant to us today. And, and I think that we are in a better place because there are people, uh, some of them people who have big name recognition, some of them just people who work quietly in the little places where they work, who are helping to make that happen. And we didn't understand how deep and in fact, in some ways, intractable racism was as an attitude. And he understood that as well. And he spoke to those things. Um, so we have to be careful as we celebrate him and we, we strive to continue his work to hear all of those things that he said and not to somehow reduce him to, to a dream on the mountaintop. And that's very easy to do, okay? Um, and his work will continue, particularly so to the extent that we understand the full range of things that he addressed and how he spoke very profoundly. It, and, and, and you know, he died in 68, so I'm talking about Dr. King in 66, Dr. King in 67, uh, speaking about some of those issues that we are concerned with today. And, and it was more than I have a dream. It was more than I've been to the mountaintop.